Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. Wow. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, hi there. Welcome to night number one of the 11 nights of Halloween. I was just looking at my teeth with this dental mirror here, and I think I'm getting a few cavities. I guess I could go to the dentist, but then they're just going to pull the tooth and charge me money. But then I was thinking, why would I do that when I can just stay home, pull the tooth out myself, place it under my pillow, and then the tooth fairy gives me money? Uh huh? Clever. Speaking of mirrors, that's what today's story is about. But it's a mirror of a different sort. Enjoy. I had barely gotten my stuff from my truck unloaded into the cabin when a sudden bout of grogginess hit me. I shuffled through my backpack and grabbed some instant coffee. Luckily there was already a tea kettle on the stove, since I had forgotten to pack one. I turned on the faucet and my eardrums were immediately assaulted with a loud rumbling noise and the faucet nozzle vibrating violently. I figured it had to be something with the water softener unit, so I went down into the basement fumbled for the light switch, and gave my eyes a moment to adjust to the flicker and buzz of the fluorescent bulb fixtures swaying overhead. The basement was an absolute mess, boxes and clutter from wall to wall. It was clear the owner I was renting the cabin from hadn't cleaned up down here in ages. The floor was damp and there was a strong musty smell, probably mold from a water leak soaking the boxes and garbage. I didn't see the water softener unit. But I did notice a large and extremely ornate looking mirror propped up on the wall a few feet from me. It looked extremely out of place and quite old. The frame was a light golden color, all decorated with the shapes of leaves and branches. I walked over and took a closer look. One look at my reflection, and it was clear just how exhausting the nine hour drive had been for me. My skin was as pale as a bedsheet and the circles under my eyes looked like they had been carved out with a spoon. As I rubbed the sleep from my eyes and looked back at my reflection, I noticed a large bruise on my left cheek that appeared to be bleeding. I rubbed at it, and to my horror, my skin began to flake away. I could swear that I was beginning to see a bit of my cheekbone appearing from underneath the decaying flesh that appeared to be falling from my face. I didn't notice any pain, and I couldn't remember injuring myself at any point that morning. I grit my teeth in the moment as I fought back the sensation of vomit working its way up my throat. I could see that both my front teeth appeared to be busted out. I ran my tongue across the space where the teeth appeared to be missing. It was odd, but I could feel a smoothness, like they were still there. I ran upstairs and out the door stopping just short of my truck before throwing up my breakfast on the damp grass. I slowly lifted my head and glanced at my reflection in my tinted truck window. Except for a bit of paleness and a clammy sweat beating from my forehead, there was nothing wrong with my face. I opened my mouth and felt both of my front teeth with my fingers, confirming what I was seeing in my truck window. They were still there. Nothing short of morbid curiosity brought me back down those stairs, into that basement, where I once again approached the mirror and stared. I couldn't see myself anymore. I could only see the clutter surrounding me. I reached my hand slowly towards the glass, and watched completely dumbfounded as my hand went straight through to the other side. It wasn't a mirror I was looking into. I was looking into another room an exact mirror image copy of the room I was standing in. The only difference being a small window, tucked away to the side, just out of view, with the glass broken out. The nine hour drive back home didn't bother me. I was wide awake now. <laughs>